Hello. In this session, we're going to focus on a Turkish get-up. It's an old exercise with many benefits. It requires a lot of range of motion, and if you don't have that, I'll give you options that you could use instead of the traditional variations. To start with, you're going to have one leg forward and the other leg back in a wide stance front to back. Legs are about hip distance apart. All that you're going to do is you're going to bend your knees, keeping your body perpendicular, bringing the back knee to the floor if you can, and just return to two legs straight. And again, keeping your body perpendicular as much as you can, bend your knees, bringing the back knee gently down, and then return. Let's switch legs. Now, if that is not accessible to you, you would put something high off the floor under this knee like a block, pillow, cushion, or just don't bend all the way down and then return. Practicing bending your knees in this position is a great exercise because it puts a lot of lengthening strength on the front of your thigh. And many people could do good work by having more of that long strength in their life. So again, if your knee does not touch the floor all the way, don't judge yourself harshly. Either elevate the floor with a cushion, block, pad, or pillow, and or just don't go that low. Now, we're going to do the other side. Other leg forward. You're going to bend your knees. Easy. Now, from here, you're going to push on to that front leg. Nice and tall. From there, you step your free leg back. Bend both knees. Bring the back knee down only as far as your personal comfort. And then return and push onto that front leg. This free foot can always tap the floor as you need to. If that's just not accessible to you, you'd only bend as far as you can and then return up if you can push onto that front standing leg. If pushing onto that front standing leg doesn't work for you, just lean forward and go as far as you can and then bend both knees again, switching sides. Again, so we just start by bending as far as you have no pain or strain. You start to straighten, you lift that back foot to push onto your standing front foot. You step back, again, bending both knees, only as far as you have no pain or strain, then start to straighten, and then push. And again, if coming onto that front leg by itself is not accessible to you, come up as far as you can and just lean forward strongly, and then bend down to return. You can also hold onto a wall or bar to help steady yourself if it's a balance coordination issue, versus pain or strain in your joint. If what you feel is mostly your knee and it's uncomfortable, that means that coming up from that position is not that great for you. However, if it's just a balance of coordination without pain or strain, grab onto something like a pole would be great as well to help you get the strength required for that. Now, our next part, we're gonna start on one knee with the other foot forward. If this position is aggressive for you, you can have your knee elevated up off the floor. All that we're gonna do, reach the same side hand as knee that's down, out to the side, to the floor, and then return. That's all you do. You reach that front <laughs> left arm on the same side as that knee that's down, out to the side, and return. And you guessed it. If you don't, if reaching down to the floor does not feel good to you, elevate the floor higher. So you can put your hand down on something, or don't go that far. Go only as far as you have comfort and no strain to your joints. Other side, again, just practicing these basic things by yourself without doing the actual get up as a one flowing unit is really great. You can do 10 reps each side and that's good work. And then you do come down on your knees and do 10 reps side to side here for, you know, so it's really simple to help get yourself into these positions just by breaking the movements down to their component parts. Other side. Now, this one we start in the side bending. Here is the place that is gonna be most difficult to adjust for. We're going to bring this knee that's down forward. If your hand's not on the floor and it's on something that's elevated, make sure whatever it's on is strong, supported, and stable like a piece of furniture. You can have your elbow on like a chair that doesn't move or a couch to help stabilize you. This bottom leg, we're gonna push into the front foot, lift that bottom leg up 
and then bring it forward. And then bring that knee back where it came from. That's all that we're doing. Bring that leg forward and bring it back. That's right. Bring it forward and bring it back. Two more there. Just forward. That's right. And back. One more time. Forward. Great. And back. Bring your body up. Let's try that on the other side. You can always press pause. Again, we're reaching the same side arm as knee is down, out to the side, wherever it can touch the floor or on something stable. You're going to bring this bottom knee forward. You're going to push to this front foot down strongly, bring that bottom leg forward, and then bring the knee down. That's all you do. Again, push the floor with the arm and leg that's on the floor, bring the bottom leg forward, return. So I push with the front foot and the standing arm. Again, breathe. Three. Excellent work. Two more to go there. Again, reach. Two. Excellent job. One more time. Easy. Yeah. Return and then bring it up tall. So let's break all those things down that we have so far. I'll show it from the side. You're starting on one leg or foot down behind you or on two, depending on what works for you. You step back like we've done. You bend as far as you can. The same side arm as knee that's down goes down to the floor, right? And you bring that bottom leg forward. Then you reverse, bring your body to vertical, push with both legs, step to the front leg or return to two legs, your choice. Again, reach back, bend, both knees as far as you have comfort. The same side arm as knee that's down goes out to the side. That bottom foot comes forward. Bring it back, knee down, body vertical. Push through both legs, then pick up the back foot or come to two legs, your choice. I'll show it this way. Again, reach it back, bend both knees, gentle. Same side hand as knee that's down goes out to the side. That bottom leg comes forward, bring it back. Bring your body to vertical first, push through both feet, and if you can, pick up that back foot. And again, I'm out of frame. Easy step back, bend. You got it. Reach out to the side. Bring that bottom leg forward. That's right. Bring it back. Body vertical. Start to stand nice and tall. Let's do the other side. I'll show it from the side first. Again, you can start on two legs or one. Mm -hmm. You're going to step back or just bend both knees. The same side hand of knee that's down goes out to the side. That bottom leg comes forward. Return that knee where it came from, body vertical. Push through both legs, return to two legs, or pick up that back foot. And again, reach back, bend both knees. Try to have your body perpendicular if you can. Same side hand as knee that's down, goes out to the side. Bottom leg forward, great. Knee down, body vertical. Push to two legs or pick up that back foot. One more time in this direction. I'll show you from the side. Back foot, body perpendicular, arm out to the side, leg forward. Knee down, body perpendicular, push through both legs, bring it up to one leg or two. Here we go, showing it this way. Leg goes back behind you, perpendicular, bend down gently. Same side hand as knee that's down, goes out to the side. Bottom leg forward, great. Bring that knee back, bring your body back to vertical, push to two legs or one. One more time like that, Woo! Again, step it back or just bend both knees as far as you have comfort, reach to the side, bring that bottom leg forward, you got it. Bring it back, body vertical first, start to push and then return. Now, we're gonna start at the other end, right? You're going to start laying on your back if you can. You have one arm reaching to the sky, other arm out to the side. All that you're going to do, the elbow that's on the floor, you're going to look towards that side of the room, push that elbow down to the floor, reach up to the sky with the other arm. That's all you do. And then Gently keep looking to the elbow down, so side of the room where the elbow is down, come on to that side of your body, then come on to both sides of your back. So again, you gently start to look to the side of the room where the elbow is down, push that elbow against the floor, come up on to that elbow facing that same side of the room. 
Stay in that twist. You're gonna bring the elbow side of your back down to the floor first, and then both sides of your back down. This arm is just reaching up to give you a sense of reaching up as you twist. That's right. Bring the elbow side of your back down to the floor first, then your whole back down. One more time. Again, look towards that side first, push that elbow against the floor, reach the other arm up. You got it. Then slowly bring that elbow that's on the floor, that side of your back down to the floor first, and then everything down to the floor. Oh, let's switch. Again, gonna look towards the side of the room where the elbow is down. You're gonna push that elbow against the floor as you start to curl. Think of reaching up and twisting. It will really help. Then bring the elbow side of your back down to the floor first, not both sides, and then both sides. We just reverse that. You look towards the elbow side that's down, start to come up, push the elbow down against the floor to help you reach the other arm up. You got it. Bring the elbow side of your back down first to the floor, and then two sides come down. Again, curl, twist, push the elbow down, reach the arm up. You got it. Bring the elbow side of your back down to the floor, and then the whole thing, one more time. Start to look, start to curl up, start to twist, and then push the elbow down to really help you reach the arm up. It will really help you. And so I can't say it anymore, right? Really, really, really. Elbow side of your back, and then both sides of your back switch. We're gonna add on. Other side, you start to curl up, twisting, push up to the elbow. Yeah, see, that wasn't so bad. And you just straighten the arm, the elbow, the floor. And then bend it down, and then all the way down. Just two more there. Same thing, curl up to the elbow, and then straighten the elbow. And that's all you do. Bend the elbow, elbow side of your back down, whole back down. Again, easy breathe. Rotate, push the elbow down, and then straighten the arm, push the floor away. Bring the elbow back down, we're on to the elbow side of your back, and then your whole back, switch sides. All that you do is you look towards the elbow side, start to curl forward, then push the elbow down, then push the palm down to straighten the arm. Bring the elbow down, roll onto the elbow side of your back, then both sides. Again, twist, start to push the floor down, uh -huh, and push the floor down with your palm to straighten the floor side arm. Bring the elbow back down to the floor, and then bring the elbow side of your back to the floor, and then both sides, one more time. Twist, look towards, start to bring your torso towards that side, push the elbow down, and then push the arm down, straighten the elbow, then reverse, bring the elbow down, bring that side of your back down, and then bring everything down. Switch sides. This is so easy, huh? Now, here's another thing we're gonna add. You're just gonna bend the same side knee as arm that's in the air, so that foot is flat on the floor. We're gonna add on. It starts exactly the same. You rotate towards the side of the room where the elbow is down, push to bring your body up onto the elbow, then you straighten the arm. Now, you're gonna use both legs here. Push both feet down, drive the hips up. Bring the hips down, bring the elbow down, roll onto the elbow side of your back, then your whole back. Two more there. Rotate, push into the elbow, and then straighten the elbow. Push into your feet, lean your body over that floor side arm. Then you bring the hips down, elbow down, one side of your back down, two sides of your back. One more time. Twist, push into the elbow, body up. Then push into the palm, straighten the arm, then push into your legs. Bring your body over directly over that standing arm. Then bring the hips down, bring the elbow down. Come onto the elbow side of your back, and then both sides of your back. We're gonna switch everything. Remember, you have the same side knee as arm bent as arm that's up. Other arm is long on the floor. You start to twist towards the elbow side that's down. Push into the elbow against the floor to bring your body up. Push into your palm to straighten the arm. Now, push into your feet and the floor side arm. You're gonna bring your body up over that floor side arm directly. And then bring the hips down. Bring the elbow down, roll onto the elbow side of your back, and then both sides of your back. Again, twist towards the elbow side that's down. Push to the elbow. Push to straighten the arm. Now, push your feet down. Lift those hips up. Shift your body weight over the standing arm directly. Bring the hips down. Bring the elbow down. Elbow side of your back, both sides of your back. One more time. Twist towards the elbow side. Start to curl up. 
push the elbow down, push the palm down, push the floor down with your feet and arm hips up. You got it. Hip down, elbow down, slowly. And elbow side of your back, both side of your back. Oh, there's just one more piece to connect everything together. Switch legs. Remember, same side knees bent as arm lifts up. Twist to the elbow side, that's down. Push, straight in the arm. Push into your feet, get your body weight over the arm. Now, that front leg we've been here before, that knee goes down. Bring your body to vertical. Push into both feet to stand tall. Woof! Bring that leg that's in the air, or it's behind you. Bend slowly down. Bring the same side arm as knee that's down out to the side. Push into your front foot. Bring that back leg forward. Stay here. Bring your hips down. Elbow down. Familiar, huh? Come on to the side of your back with the elbow that's down. And then both sides of your back. Great job. Congratulations. You did it. Again, twist to the elbow side that's down. Push into the elbow. Straighten the arm. Push the hips up. Now, that front leg goes back. Knee down. Body vertical. Push through both legs. Either push to two legs or forward to the one leg. Great job. That leg goes back behind you. Bend both knees. Same side arm as knee that's down goes out to the side. That back leg comes forward. Hips come down. Elbow down. We're on to the elbow side of your, of your back and then both sides of your back. One more time that way. Twist towards the elbow that's down. Push up to your elbow. Straighten the arm. Push your feet down. Shift your body weight over the arm. Bring that front leg back onto your knee. Bring your body perpendicular. Push through both legs to stand tall. Excellent. Step back, bend both knees gently. Hand, same side as knee that's down, go out to that side. Bring that back leg forward, hips up. Then hips down, yes. Elbow down, lay on the elbow side of your back. And then both sides, oh, switch everything. Congratulations, here we go. Twist to the elbow left side that's down. Push up to your elbow. Straighten the arm. Press the hips up. Here we go. That front leg goes back, knee down. We've been there already. Bring your body to vertical first. Push through both, right? Either straighten both legs or bring it up to that front leg. Beautiful. Step back, bend both knees. Back, knee down. Great. Same side arm as knee that's down goes way out to the side. You're over there. That back leg goes forward, hips up. Bring the hips down, you shift off the standing arm. Bend the elbow down. Come on to the elbow side of your back. Come on to both sides of your back. Two more to go. Twist, rotate, push the elbow down. Straighten the arm. Press the hips up. Now, hips stay up. Bring that front leg back onto your knee. Just body perpendicular first. Push through both feet, either to two legs or to the front. Reverse, step back and or bend both knees. Bring the same side hand as knee that's down out to that side. Stay over the arm. Bring that back leg forward. Then just shift your hips down with a straight arm. Then you bend the elbow. Then come onto the elbow side of your back. And then both sides of your back. One more up and down. You got it. Rotate. Twist to the elbow that's down. Push. Straight in the arm. You're going to press your hips up. Shift your body weight over that arm. Stay over the arm. Bring that front knee back. Now control body perpendicular. Push through both legs to two legs or to the front. Step that leg back. Bend both knees gently. Same side hand as knee that's down goes way out to the side. Get your body weight over the arm. That back leg goes forward. Hips up. Hips down with a straight standing arm. Then you bend the elbow. Twist onto the elbow side of your back and onto both sides of your back. And you're done. Yes. Congratulations. So there you go. That is about as old school as it gets, and you can feel how that's wonderful for your whole body so long as your joints are in a position to support you through all those huge ranges of motion. And again, break it down into two parts. Do the first part, right? You start standing, go down as far as you can, and then come back up. Do the second part. Start on the floor, come halfway up, and go back down. If that's good for you, repeat those sequences, and that's really great. Or do the whole sequence up and down. I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Eric. This is Nuclear Strength. I look forward to exercising with you in the future. Yours in good health. Take care.